Mr. Berger is our candidate for St. Diego County District Attorney, challenging Bonnie Dumas in 2014. Uh, welcome, Mr. Bob Berger. announcing that I was officially running for district attorney on October 2nd. But I started working on this about five months before that, really investigating the chances of doing this successfully, what it was going to cost, what it was going to take out of me, uh, what was involved. And when the word got out that I was going to do this, I want you to know, one of the very first people ever contacted me that wanted to meet me and sit down and talk to me was Eugene DeVitter. He could not have been more respectful and more courteous and more interested and more informed. And we've met, I think, three times, two or three times. And you should be very proud of that man. And he does a great service as the chairman. And uh, I just want you to know that I tell a lot of people when they ask me, well, who was the first person that reached out and really wanted to meet you and talk to you about the issues? And I tell them it's Eugene. So let's talk about why I'm doing this and why I'm yet to be in therapy. <laughs> I may be soon, but not yet. Um, I'm running for district attorney because I firmly and sincerely believe that it's time for a change in leadership of the district attorney's office. Let me just give you a brief resume and tell you why I'm here. I have been a lawyer for 38 and a half years. I went to USD, and prior to entering USD Law School, I was in the infantry for four years. I served in Vietnam for 15 months, and when I came back from Vietnam, I came through San Diego, and that's what introduced me to this wonderful area. I'm from upstate New York. Ithaca, New York is my hometown. And, and I, uh, uh, it was February when I came through, and I called my mother and I said, what's the weather like? It was 10 below in Ithaca, and it was 68 here. So that's why I'm here. Anyway, I went to USD, graduated in 1975, was a uh, deputy district attorney in Los Angeles for two and a half years, and then was an assistant U.S. attorney in Los Angeles for four and a half years. So I was a criminal prosecutor for seven and a half years, all in Los Angeles. <coughs> Came back down here in 1982, and I've been here continuously since 1982. Um, Eugene told me to be brief, and you know lawyers and brevity just don't go together. But I do want to mention the reason I'm here tonight is to listen, to learn, and to understand the issues that are very important to you. Because um, I know this is very important. Uh, I, I have spent uh, time with Eugene. He has provided me documents. I've read those documents. Now I want to listen to the people who have the issues and want to talk about the issues, and that's you. And so this is a fact-finding mission, and I want to sit and listen. You can tell me anything. And um, the more I know, the more I can make an informed decision. But I'll tell you something. The district attorney's office is run by a politician. And it should not be run by a politician. And when I become the district attorney, I will never endorse any candidate for anything. Never. And I will never run for another office. And I know you're saying this. I know what you're saying to yourself. Well, it's because you're so old. <laughs> that may be, but that just corrob that, that corroborates what I'm telling you. The only job I want is to be the district attorney, and I want to do it right. And I want to thank you very much for having me here today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Burr, for that statement. And uh, we wanted you to hear from members of the community, patients that have been directly impacted by the current district attorney. And first, I'd like to hear from uh, the attorneys that have been in court and have dealt with the specific prosecutors in some of the cases and some of the challenges that we face. And